Member for Gilmore has the call. Yeah. My question is to the Minister for, for Financial Services. How is the Albanese Labor government helping Australians access affordable, high-quality financial advice and cleaning up the mess in the advice industry left by the Liberals and Nationals? Order. I give the call to the Assistant Treasurer. Now, thanks, uh, thanks, Speaker. And can I start by acknowledging the tremendous uh, contribution that the member for Gilmore brings to this parliament and the work that she does brings a depth of experience, a former dairy farmer, small business owner and a teacher, and a passionate advocate for the people of the South Coast and the Shoalhaven. She's right. The government inherited a mess in the area of financial advice. Uh, 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 we saw financial advisor numbers absolutely in free fall. 10,000 left, left the industry uh, on this, on this uh, government, that government's watch. Um, they had a huge gap. People were seeking financial advice and couldn't access it, couldn't afford it. Uh, they had regulation Order. after regulation that was providing red tape but not consumer protection. And in the area of the transition to a professionalisation of the service, layer upon layer upon layer of mess, is there any wonder that 10,000 professional financial advisers left the industry? Well, this government is going to clean up the mess that the other mob left us. And we have started this week. This morning I introduced legislation into the parliament to help smooth the professional trans transition and ensure that experienced advisers can stay within the industry, a proposition that was put and ignored by that mob over there. We have also introduced, uh, we've also announced our response to the quality of advice review, and I can advise the House that we're adopting 14 of the 22 recommendations. There will be three streams of work that proceed from this. First, we will be removing that red tape that adds no consu consumer protection from financial advisers, something that this mob could have done but refused to do. It means that professional financial advisers will be able to get on with doing their job without unnecessary red tape. But our priorities in stream two, I've got to say, Deputy Speaker, five million Australians are either at or approaching retirement with more money than ever before because of Labor's transformative superannuation reforms. The average Australian is retiring with $200,000 in retirement. Every single dollar of it opposed by that mob over there. What they need is access to information and advice, and we're going to enable them to get it from their superannuation fund. Now, this has been well received by the industry and by consumer groups. The Financial Services Council has said this. The government is right to prioritise Stream 1 reforms, which will lower the cost of providing financial advice and improve consumers' experience. Choice, the consumer body, has said this. We welcome the federal government's sensible and measured approach to improving consumer outcomes, and the Financial Advice Association has welcomed the reforms as well. Yeah. 